Okay, what do we have now? Uh, oh yeah, Sonic Lost World. <laughs> I almost forgot about this game. <laughs> Just like everyone fucking else. No, but seriously, this game doesn't really amount to a lot. It was one of those Wii U exclusive games, and honestly, this feels like Sonic aping Mario. And I, I've never been like, oh, well, Sonic just does what Mario does, but this literally feels like if Sonic would have done the sort of Mario thing with, you know, how it comes to its levels. And seriously, if you just look at the game, like, I, I've never seen such an original game before like how the levels are designed and how everything gets done like it's so i've never seen it before like i i've, I've just never seen it before holy shit but yeah the, the the thing about this game that i don't get is is that we've had now technically three games but you know two modern sonic games with the boost formula and the boost formula was actually still like positively received but they change it here to this like parkourish system like Sonic just straight up runs like there's no boost there's a lot of just spin dashing just immediately you don't have to rev up really and they put in this parkour system and honestly if they implement wall running like normal more wall running into the boost formula it would be fucking cool but as it is I don't really see that this gameplay change was really necessary or that good I, I really don't see the, the point of it, really. And, um, yeah, other than that, I don't really feel like there's a lot of heights to talk about this game. Like, the story is fucking awful. It, it's all the problems from Colors, but worse. Like, they tried to have this whole thing with Eggman and Sonic now having to team up. And, like, all these tragic moments. Oh no, Tails got captured, Eggman sacrifices himself. But this game is so cartoonishly and so poorly written that it falls flat on his face. Like, I cannot take this seriously at all. And what doesn't help is, you know, because Eggman and Sonic are working together. So you might wonder, well, if Eggman isn't the bad guy, then who is? Well, <laughs> I'm glad you asked, because we're about to get introduced to not one, not two, but six of the best villains. I have ever seen in a video game. I introduce you to the Deadly Six. And I bet any of you that if I had not put the fucking name titles on screen, that you wouldn't know most of their names. Like, fucking we have, like, these six dumbasses are our villains for this game. Like, what the fuck? Of course, they have like this whole catchy thing with the Z's. You know, you have uh, Zavok, of course, because I, I mentioned him earlier. You have um, Zendaya. You have uh, Zoro, uh, Zoda, Zix, and um, Zaquanda or some. Sh I don't fucking like. Seriously, these guys are so fucking stupid. And then they—they're all just so. Like, they're all so cartoonish tunishly one-dimensional like you've never seen such incredibly creative villain designs such as the crazy one the fat slob the small wise master the emo one a girl and a leader i honestly don't believe that they could get any more generic even if they tried and that's also a point is i don't think they tried they they had these templates and they just went with it. I mean, there's some funny moments that happen because of these stereotypes. The last time we met, you ruined my nail art. Now I have to reapply a whole new coat. Oh my gosh, are you serious? Mm -hmm. I am so, so sorry. Oh, well, in that case... Oh no, what I meant to say is, I'm so sorry that you have nothing more important to do in life. <laughs> But honestly, it's nothing to write home about. It's it's all just... It, this game really feels like schlock. Just dumb schlock. It's not enjoyable to watch. It's not fun to sit there and look at the fucking characters. Just... Oh my god, this dialogue is so fucking bad. And like... Uh, and overall, like the thing is, I don't hate Lost World. I think it's incredibly mediocre. But I don't hate it. But that's the point. Like, it amounts to nothing. 
Like, there's no point to this game. Like, it, it, I don't feel like it delivers on anything that people would be really like, that's why this game is great, that's why I want this game. Like, this is a game that we'll remember. Like, no! Like, this this game adds nothing to the franchise, and the worst part is, is that they keep bringing them back. And okay, by them, I mean Zavik. I mean, the, the Deadly Six have come back in the comics now, and honestly, they're, they're still the same characters, even though I think they're a bit better done, but still not that great. But they keep bringing Zavik back for some reason, and I don't know why. Like, this is literally that rule again that I said earlier. If they're not, like... If people don't audibly go like, this is the fucking worst, they'll keep bringing them back because like, oh, they didn't hate it, so they will they must love it. It's like, no, stop bringing him back. Or if you're uh, bringing him back, at least fucking do something with him. Develop him. Have you ever read his wiki page? Like, from that, you'd think that he's this big, ruthless killer. But no, he's like a boring, fucking generic evil guy. And you know what? I don't care that recently they've had him be voiced by Patrick Seitz and he sounds fucking awesome. I don't care, okay? You, you can't trick me. My love for Mortal Kombat will not trick me for this fucking garbage character. Jesus. Yeah, I, I just want to stop talking about this game now. It's mediocre, that's all I'm gonna say, it's all. Thank fucking God. Someone at Sega actually had a brain to greenlight this project for Christian Whitehead and the rest. Like. I have no words. I don't think I'm gonna talk too long about this just because there's like oh, Otherwise, it would just be me praising this fucking game for like 20 20 fucking minutes Like everyone and their grandmother has seen this game And I think everyone almost unanimously in the community has been like thank fucking god for this game just <sighs> It feels so good Just to be able to look at something and almost everyone is like this, this is good. This is good, and this can this makes me feel proud to be a fan of this franchise. Like this game, this music, just everything just makes me happy to be a fan of this. I don't feel like any remorse about being a fan of this franchise when I look at Mania. It's so goddamn good. And you can see that Sega knows it. Because in every one of these fucking trailers, it's Sega proudly presents. After, like, after Mania and Forces launched, like, I mean, after they had both, yeah, had been released and it's been a while, in the update that they did, Forces was nowhere to be heard about. What they did do, like, the big thing that they did want to talk about was Mania Plus. Like, a physical copy with a fucking cool Genesis-era style cover and new characters. They brought Mighty back, they brought Ray back, and, and just added on it. And they were, like, you could see that they were happy about it. And that they could just be like, yeah, this game was good. And everyone was like, yeah, that game was fucking good. And we want more. Like, fucking hell. The, the animated shorts that they made for it are great. They're so much fun. The intro is beautiful. Like, oh my god, I wanted to cry just looking at it. this. Hyper Potions, their music is so fucking good. They deserve all the attention. Ever. Just literally, I... Uh, I'm just happy. I, 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 I can just keep repeating myself that this game is... Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Just know that I could just literally keep praising this for 20 more minutes. And um, I just want to get into the next thing and finish this off. Because it's gonna be a big one. <sighs> I don't think I can really describe how just disappointed I am in Sonic Forces. Like, I remember when it was announced, like honestly this feels the exact same situation that I had with the Venom movie and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, where Venom and Forces were these big, like, bigger budget, big fucking movies slash games than that I thought like, yeah, this is what I'm excited for, and Mania and Into the Spider-Verse were going to be these like smaller things that would be enjoyable. And holy shit did my opinion switch with both of them. Where I just thought like the thing that I was excited for was so fucking disappointing. And then the thing that I was sort of excited about turned out to be like one of my favorite fucking things ever. And I cannot describe how I feel that way with Forces. Ever since from the first fucking trailer. The only thing that I would complain about is that Classic Sonic was back. 
because I don't feel like they need to bring him back every time. Modern Sonic needs to be able to stand on his own. And it's not just that. Fucking Green Hill is back. Chemical Plant is back. The Death Egg is back. Metropolis is back. There are seven worlds in fucking forces. And four of them are fucking retreads from what we had before. I'll admit, like, they did try to do some different things, like you saw with the concept art. But then, Green Hill is literally just yellow painted Green Hill. Like, where the fuck did that whole prison camp idea go? It's not in the game. It doesn't look like a fucking... It, it, nowhere in the game does it look like that. Chemical Plant at least looks different from the outside. Like, it looks a lot more cold and militarized. You have the Death Egg, which is the Death Egg. But honestly, the Death Egg is the only one that I'm willing to forgive because if it's like this world conquering setting and stuff, like that, it's a cool idea then to have this whole space armada and shit. Like, but then we also have Metropolis, and I'm willing to give it a, leni a bit of leniency as well since we haven't seen it in a long time and it is really redesigned. But other than that, like Mystic Jungle is. A, a sort of casino... It's a casino-ish jungle thing. It's, it looks a bit cool, but it could have been more, I feel. It could have been expanded a bit more. Uh, honestly, like, especially like the final stuff that we have. Fucking Eggman Empire was... But, oh my god, oh my god. I'm just... Uh, yeah, I'm sighing a lot because I'm disappointed. Uh, we have a, a basic destroyed city, which I was fine with as a setting, but not a lot was done with it. Uh, but, and then the final one is just a, a bit of a blank, like, just empty space of a base. Like, you have these big mechanical structures, and other than that, it's just empty. It feels like Eggman Empire Fortress wasn't that impressive, I feel. And, like, this game just fails in so many fucking ways. And it feels like, again, like, this is a game that I want to discuss separately, because otherwise I'm going to be sitting here for fucking ever. But, like, the entire story behind it, how it clearly was rushed, they, they apparently, because it was four years in between this and uh, Lost World, and actually only one year was actually worked on the gameplay, and it shows because the new engine just is not that good, like, the boost gameplay just took a massive step backwards, it is literally, like, everyone's like, oh, it's boost to win. No, in this game, it literally feels boost to win. In the other games, there's, like, management with your boost meter and, like, quick maneuvering and shit. In this game, it literally feels boost to win. Enemies are no threat. You, They are there as fuel for your boost meter. That's it. That's all they are. Classic Sonic has no reason to be in this game at all. It's literally just for nostalgia pandering. We just had Mania. We didn't need him in this game. Not at all. Especially not when his gameplay is this fucking bad. The only thing that I can compliment about him is that the camera is a bit more zoomed out than in Generations, which I didn't like in that game. Other than that, he feels like a fucking brick. He is a blue brick with red shoes. And his physics are awful. His music is ear screeching. Holy shit. Like, and then we get the third new character and you'll be like, oh, we're getting a third new character? Like, who the fuck is this gonna be? It's an avatar. Like, you get to play as deviant art, And I think a lot of people were happy about that, but... I honestly was indifferent about it. I was like, oh, okay, then I guess that's a cool idea? Sure, but I don't know, like... I really don't like self-insert characters into these fucking games. I don't know how that affects the story going forward. Is that character gonna get addressed? I don't fucking know. And especially, like, again, their gameplay is as shallow as it comes. You, you have a Wispawn that just wrecks through everything. And the problem is, as well, you have some of them, like, um, Hover, that basically just feels useless. There's no reason to use it. Just stick with what I, what I did was just stick with the fucking basic one, the, the Burst. And it's the best one, I think, in the game. Like, it wrecks easily anything that comes in its path. Its mobility is really good. The others... Like, there are a couple, like, Lightning or Void that can get the job done as well. They can do all that stuff, but literally, there's no challenge. There's no challenge at all. Uh, there's so much fucking automated stuff. Like, you can't grind because it's automated. There's so many sections that are just on rails. You cannot move for an inch unless you dash, like, side dash. Or you just aren't allowed to move because there's a bajillion speed pads just sitting there waiting for your ass to come by and boost you ahead in a straight line. And... Oh my god, is it annoying. It is annoying! <sighs> okay, let's, um... Um... 
graphics wise I'd say that the game is okay I, it's not like really mm, revolutionary or anything that big but I'd, I'd say it's fine it's fine there are some sequences I think do really look nice uh, other than that it's it's fine I don't really want to talk up too much about that what I really want to talk about is the story and how terrible it is because I, I really feel bad about this because if I were to like do it myself, like if it'd be like, okay, make a Sonic game, this would have been the idea that I would have used because it's more serious, it's way more like in comparison to fucking colors and Lost World and all that stuff. This is a lot more serious. It's a lot more darker, but it's not too dark and everything. Like I, on a paper, you'd think that this is perfect. They, it's a more serious setting, the tone is darker, it's not too dark, the characters like Sonic's friends are there, they are more active in the actual story mode, the, there's a big ensemble cast of villains that you know, uh, you think would be threatening, Eggman has taken over the world and all this shit, you know, instead of being this goofball, he's now again back to being a threat, you think, wow, this is fucking amazing, but then modern Sonic writing gets put into this game, and it becomes awful, like everything, from the moment that it's like, oh, Sonic gets his fucking ass kicked and gets trapped on a ship and apparently gets tortured for six months, and then when we get to him, he's completely fine, there was no point in telling us that. There was no fucking point. Like, why couldn't they have been, like, in that scene in Unleashed in the intro? Just have him get shocked or something, or have him look tired. No, we can't even do that. He's just sitting there on a fucking bench. Jesus Christ. All of his friends are, like, talking in this incredibly, like, melodramatic movie thing. Like, oh, all hope is lost. Oh, whatever finished Sonic. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still not used to saying that. Like, what the fuck are these guys? They've lost their personalities and have all just become the same fucking template. Oh my god, and one more thing, what, like one thing that I definitely want to say is Knuckles as the leader makes no sense, and I fucking love Knuckles, but you do not put one of the most gullible fucking characters as the leader. If he's anything, he should be a commander of a fucking force. You want a leader? Fucking put anyone else, except for Charmy or something, put, and fucking make it Amy, I don't give a shit, have Tails. Oh yeah, Tails. Apparently, Tails loses it in the story mode and he's like oh Tails has lost it and he's gone off by himself and then you get to him and he's is nothing there's nothing wrong with him I mean th there is something wrong with him in that he's a big fucking pussy and he he's too scared to fight fucking chaos zero even though he's beaten chaos four Oh my god, and he's literally just there so he can tag along with Classic Sonic, so there's someone there to communicate, because Classic Sonic doesn't talk. That's the entire reason for it. So really, about the hero cast, can't really say much anymore about that, they're all just, they all feel incredibly one-dimensional. Omega gets wrecked somewhere in the story and in the prologue, and he comes back, and it's like, oh my god, Omega's back, and then nothing else is done with it. It's completely useless. So, the bigger thing that I want to talk about is the villains, and they are fucking terrible. In the promotion my material, I lost my shit because the entire thing was like, what the fuck, Shadow's a bad guy. Like, holy and yeah, he's been sort of against Sonic in some games and like, straight up against him and ev even evil in one or two, but like, this is the like, recent Shadow when side with Eggman, so like, what the fuck is going on? And then you get all these other bad guys as well, like fucking Chaos is back, like holy shit. And of course, like Metal Sonic and Zavok, fuck's sake, and a new mysterious villain. So. Who, who, they, who looks really powerful. So the idea of like, oh my god, all Sonic's greatest villains and Zavik are back and they're fucking here to kick his ass and they do because that is like, that is why I still hold up Mephilus as a great villain. Because even though 06 is terrible, Mephilus works as a villain because he actually fucking was a threat and we haven't had that anywhere. Eggman has been a cartoonish dolt for the past three or four games. And the, the Deadly Six are even worse. So you think like, holy shit, this, vil this this guy is edgy as fuck. He's edgier than Shadow. His theme music, like, holy shit. And you know what? I loved it. He could be as edgy as he ever wanted to be. And it doesn't matter. Because he was threatening. Because the first thing they show us is that he comes in and he kicks Sonic's ass. Like, that's a... Like, that's a big fucking thing. But the problem with that is, after that moment, he never does anything like that. Like, they, they keep repeating, it's like, oh yeah, Sonic, he, like, he got lost and shit, and he fucking captured him and all that shit. And then after that, Infinite is just 
an idiot. He just comes across as an idiot who just keeps going like, Oh, yes, I, I did all these great evil things. Oh, I'm such a, a powerful villain. Yeah, you kick his ass in two incredibly easy boss fights. And then he has a terrible third boss fight. Okay, you know what? This is a segue into the, the another thing. The boss fights. They're fucking awful. Uh, Zavok... Uh, actually, you know what? Before I get to Zavok... But looking at the marketing of the game, you think, Well, I can't wait for all of these, you know, these guys to fucking fight against them. And then you get to the point of, if you look at the five that were shown on screen, you also have Eggman, but I'm counting like those five. There's only three of them that you get to fight against. Like, and they picked the, the worst ones. Infinite, obviously, he's the new big bad. Fine. But you can see the other guys, and if you had, like, if you had a game in the side, you would be like, okay, well, we don't have enough time to make four boss fights. Okay, we only have time for two of these four. Who do you pick? You pick Shadow, the one that people were the most surprised about and are the most wondering why he's on Eggman's side, and it could be like a cool conflict. You pick Chaos, because he's basically been the, the least shown out of these four, and you know, a new take on him would be really fucking cool. You know, everyone was really surprised that Chaos is there for some reason, because he hasn't been seen in a long time, and Generations doesn't count, because, I mean, he was there because of Adventure, like the, the whole time thing. Then, no, they pick Metal Sonic. And Zavok. And I love fucking Metal Sonic. I fucking love him. But he's been the most... Like, he's been the antagonist out of the four of them the most time. So I think if you had to pick any of the others, you know, give him a bit of free space. And fucking Zavok. And why? If anyone does not deserve a boss fight, it's him. <laughs> and then we actually get to what the boss fights are. What does Zavok do? In Lost World, he rides on a dragon train. And then he chases you as a big one of him, and he like in fucking lava, and that could be seen as cool. Okay, what does he do in forces? He, he's on a bee. He's on a big fucking bee, and he doesn't do anything. Like he crashes into the ground, and they actually expect you to not jump, which was really fucking confusing in the beginning. And they expect you to not jump. You you beat the boss by actively not doing stuff. Like, he's so laughably bad. And then Metal Sonic, you know, like, in comparison to previous games, what does Metal Sonic get to do? Like, oh, does he turn into Neo? Nope. Does he turn into Metal Overlord? Nope. Even in Mania, they had him get, like, this big fucking cool new form. What happens? Nah, he's just the same Metal Sonic, and he stays that. You just chase him down a fucking hallway, and he puts down barricades, and sometimes he charges at you. Wow. And the worst fucking part is Infinite. His boss fights? Holy shit. The first one, I think... You ride on this snake that I suppose is dead because he's like floating in the air, motionless. And his, uh, like, he puts up barricades, they're no fucking threat to you. You can just dash through, like, easily dodge them and just spam attack him. And it, the boss fight is over in, in like a fucking second. There's no fucking point. And then against the avatar, again, if you have the burst with spawn, you don't, don't fucking like grapple him, just use the burst with spawn. You take down half his health in a single thing. You just need to get him down twice and the, the fight is over. That's it. Like, holy shit, that's fucking terrible. Especially when he has, like, this dialogue was like, Oh, you're going to fight and die here. And then I kill his ass in, like, ten fucking seconds. And then his third boss fight... Oh my god. Is a slightly more difficult version. From the Metal Sonic boss. Like, literally, he has a bit more of a barricade. And if you hit those barricades, again, like in the other bosses, he, you get, like, lasers and stuff that try to kill you. That's it. And he just disappears at the end, and he's never seen again. What a fucking awful character. Holy shit. It's fucking awful. It's, it's so fucking bad. And Eggman again, like, it just comes to this point of repetition where he tries to feel, like, threatening. And I think Mike Pollock is the best part about the modern Sonic game so far, because his voice acting usually feels the best. And I do feel like a lot of the voice acting has improved over the years. Like, a lot of characters do feel like they've come more into their element. Like, Amy doesn't sound like Minnie Mouse anymore. Shadow doesn't sound, like, really forced like he did in the first season of Boom, and he sounds a lot more loose and cool. And I feel like, for the most part, that it got better. But then the, the, the right, they, these writers just cannot handle a serious art. And I don't want to call for anyone to get fired. I don't want to do that. But they need to see this, that this doesn't work, this writing doesn't work. And I actually think that one of them isn't working with Sega anymore. And I don't want to say yay, because, I mean, that kind of feels like a scumbag thing to say, but I'm sorry, I'm actually kind of happy about that. Because 
like I cannot just look at this and be like, oh yeah, this is this is acceptable because it's not. It's not. Um, yeah. Forces was really a big disappointment, I feel, and it's left, especially now that we're in this hiatus of no news, is at this point, like, where the fuck is this series going? And especially if that was the last game we had. Ugh, yeah, that's it for now about that game. Shit. So, in conclusion, I mean, I fucking love this franchise. It's my favorite in the entire fucking world. But sometimes it's difficult. It, it really is. But I'm still here, you know, waiting for something. I mean, even after all the bad stuff like Mania and the animated shorts have proven that there is life in it. But Sega and Sonic Team just have to wake the fuck up and recognize what they're doing wrong and what they can do to fix things. I'm not saying the fan base has all the answers. I mean, I can get that they're confused by the fan base because everyone's chanting to fucking do different things. Some people want classic stuff. Some people just want Sonic Adventure 3 or remakes. Other people just want the boost formula to continue. And I, I get that it's confusing, but they have to recognize that this is not working. I mean, if anything that shows how poor their management is, is that they could have used the recent Sonic movie to boost Sonic's image again. And the movie itself, I think, did do that, but they didn't capitalize on it. They didn't do anything during it. I'm not saying they needed to make a movie tying game, because honestly, I'm sick and fucking tired of those cheap, lame movie tying games that you always see. But, you know, to make a game and have it release around the same time as the movie could have been good, but that didn't happen. The only thing that we got was a fucking event in the mobile game. Like, I look at it and I see so much squandered potential, but I, I still have hope. I mean, I see all these other franchises now, like Crash is on a fucking resurgence, Spyro is on a fucking resurgence, and they took a long break, but they saw what worked and they're coming back now, and they're continuing. So I hope that Sonic Team has now actually taken these now nearly three years that we're at? Until the next game, most likely that we'll get a game next year, so we'll have another four-year cycle that they'll take that time. And instead of now having, like, having those four years and then being like, oh no, we actually only worked for it for a single year, actually take those four years and fucking make something that shows that they know what they're doing. Because we need stuff better. If I can just recommend anything, the writing needs to improve. The fucking gameplay engine needs to be refined, and if any tips, like, the comics are doing good. Like, make more animated shorts and have them focus on modern Sonic. They need to focus on modern Sonic. He needs to stand on his own without classic or a fucking cheap gimmick. He needs himself. Put his friends in the games. Make them playable. Make us give a shit about them. Like, and if... I don't get that we haven't seen anything about it yet, but fucking continue Mania. I don't. It doesn't have to be Mania 2, but just Mania with a different tagline or whatever. And continue it. It, it. It'd be stupid not to. It did so well. So yeah, he's just... Yeah, it just started out more as a sort of a... A look back at the franchise, and it turned into a rant. You know, the further and the further I got to the end, I, I, I kind of see that now, but... I hope that that does show, like, that I'm fucking passionate about this stuff. And I wanted to see it improve. That's why I criticize or point stuff out, because I want to see it improve. There's no point in being a fanboy who just praises everything that a developer does. So, yeah. Um, I hope that this was entertaining or informative. I hope maybe, like, we can discuss this stuff. And I really hope that they fucking learn and they improve. So, yeah. Um, that's all I have to say for now. And let's fucking hope that this shit just turns out good. See you guys next time.